Greetings all, Frog here. Let's play some GeoGuessr. We have been challenged. This is a challenge from someone from Geelong who tells me that it is the entirety, uh, entirely rather, in New Zealand. So that is going to be our challenge. It's been a week now of the music. Hopefully you've had some time to figure out if you like it or not. Let me know. For me, doing it all in a row, I need more tracks. But that's the only thing. Because I've got a half hour track and I've now gone through it four times. So that's kind of not so for me. But um, you let me know what you thought about it as you were listening to it. So if we are only in New Zealand, this is going to be both incredibly easy and incredibly difficult. I say that because uh, the only place I have to look is in New, New Zealand, and technically the way GeoGuessr scores, I can get really great scores just by clicking in the middle of New Zealand. But that's not a happy medium for me. That's not how I want to do this. I want to actually know where we are. Where we are is a crappy camera. Screw that. We're going back to the good camera. Give me the good camera. I've lost it. Okay, it's back. If I go this way, I got the crappy camera again. No, I refuse. We're sticking with the good one. Okay. Forsyth Bar, is that the name of a company? Or is that our location? Gothic Cathedral. St. Paul's Anglican Cathedral. All right, where is St. Paul's Anglican Cathedral? If you say New Zealand, Forsyth Bar Hotel, New Zealand. Well, let's let's be the let's be the obvious. Let's go into Christchurch. I don't think we can get. In order to just find my location, we're gonna have to get way too close. So, um, we're just gonna have to try and, and figure this out on our own with some sort of contextual clues. The Dunedin Public Art Gallery. That's a, that's a city, isn't it? I feel like Dunedin is a city. It is. Do we see... A Forsyth Hotel or St. Paul's? Dunedin's fairly large. Forsyth Bar Stadium. There's a casino. A friend of mine actually just moved down to New Zealand to, to deal in their casinos. Oh, uh, that's a school. I mean, I don't know exactly how to... Well, I do, I just don't want to. Let's be honest. Well, we're in Dunedin, yeah? We're in Dunedin, a little farther north. Not too far from Forsyth Bar Stadium. Oh, we're at the Octagon! Oh, that's cool. Regent Theater, Public Art Gallery, St. Paul's Cathedral. I like it. What's that? It tells you where there are light stops, traffic stops now? How long have you been doing that, Google? Huh. Alrighty. Good first guess. Bank of New Zealand. Sunglass Hut. Did not realize that was an international chain. Traditional Irish pub. Oh man! Batteries on my headset it ran out. But this is not a problem. I mean, I can still hear the music just fine. It's just the noise canceling part is over, so I get all the fan noise too. We're on the water. Patagonia? Look at the roasted coffee. Service above self. Well, that's a very nice uh, sentiment whose logo, or whose motto that is. Okay. What do we got going on here? Some housing, it looks like. I wouldn't mind if like, any of these roads were marked. East Street, Church Street, Parking. P120, P30. Does that just mean how many parking spaces there are? There must be 15 spaces up there because it says there's 165 total spaces. Alright. Just head away from that. Night and day, it looks like a... Typical kind of... Um, yeah, I'll take away. 
I'm trying to think of what we'd call that in the United States. Um, Mini Mart, I guess? What's the takeaway? Cookie time. Nice. I could go for some cookies. We've got some pumpkin cookies downstairs. Ice pumpkin cookies? They're very good. I highly recommend them if you get a chance. We got them from our local grocer. ASB Bank. Chinese Villager? Maybe this is a restaurant. KFC is in New Zealand? I'm so sorry for you all. Nothing here. I mean, the problem is you're, when you're in the city, do they not have, like, signs for highways and stuff? Like, get to the city. It'll be, or get to this highway. It'll be awesome. They just don't have highways. All right, well, we're looking kind of west, and there's water there, but there's also land on the other side. We know we're in New Zealand, right? West with water, land on the other side. We could very well be in Wellington, then. No, because we'd expect to be on the other side of that. We could, however, be up here. It seems a bigger city. Could very well be Christchurch. Not, not really in the city, though. Let's check Auckland. Could very well be Auckland. Could easily be Auckland. I'm gonna go with that. And be incredibly wrong because we're in Queenston. Wow, that city looks a lot bigger than it is on the map. Interesting. Alright. Well, I choose down when given the option. I suppose my own biases could be played against me. We're looking slightly north... north to the sea. Punakaiki Cavern? Is that right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, cheers. Probably would be very helpful because I'm sure that if I could read the uh, governing authority of those caves, it would probably tell me many things to know. There's a motel this way. The water. There's another chance to see another one of those municipality signs. Workshop. Not helpful. Well, that's okay. You have the tree bench. 400 meters to the left. We are very familiar with the tree bench. Beach home. Beach backpacker. Beach hotel. Okay. What are you doing to me here? Hmm. This could be helpful. Dolomite Point. Blow holes, pancake rock. Dolomite Point. Feels like it's in the north. Kari Kari Peninsula. Hmm. Dolomite Point. Something caves as well. Water to the north, not south. Dolomite Point. I think you got me on this one. Got me on a lot of them, to be honest with you. Dolomite Point. You just keep guessing Auckland, eventually you'll be right, right? things I've noticed with the music, I'm more likely to not speak as much, which could be good, could be bad. Let me know about that, because I'm, I'm willing to let the music fill the void, if you will. I don't feel like I have to talk over the entire silence every time. Mountain to the south. Kind of 
northeast. Well, that's not helpful. Come on, I definitely clicked before this sign. Like, it wasn't even close. River kayaking, okay. Kind of got the same flora and fauna I would expect from, like, Hawaii? So maybe on the same sort of uh, longitudinal, latitudinal business? There's another one of those signs. I get close enough to actually read this one. Yes! Paparoa National Park. Unfortunately not to read the parts that I really cared about. There's the Paparoa National Park now. I don't know, man. I just gotta say, I like it up in here. Nope. Man, I'm horrible at New Zealand, apparently. Pancake Rocks Cafe. Doing so hot with New Zealand, but that's okay. Um, does this mean go 40? That's probably what that means. I don't think it's a fruit indicator. I mean, I, I'll, I'll give you this. Someone for Geelong is definitely trying to make it easy, easier on me because it's they're relatively populated areas. There's definitely plenty of clues. I just couldn't figure it out. Water to the north again, but this is like a bay. Um, hmm. Wait, what house restaurant? White house restaurant, bummer. Gonna open it like said some sort of beach black fern cafe. Got the blue sky restaurant somewhere. No, this is definitely one of the places I'd love to visit. Well, as you know, if you've done the uh, the challenge from was it Wednesday, Thursday maybe, whenever I did the GeoSetter challenge, um, I didn't actually put a location in New Zealand, but I talked about it. It's definitely somewhere that I would like to go at some point. Copthorn. Okay. Okay. It seems like a bigger city. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Hmm. Interesting. Apparently we can go down the side of this thing. Don't know why. Coming out into the key, if you will. Hmm. Interesting. Something marine. Barton Marine. I don't know how to look for these places. Just because one of these times it will be awkward. Don't, I, don't, I don't want to make a guess, it's just a hand slipping. Um, Wow, this is really tough. I mean, there's no... I don't see any clues. Like, nothing that, that would help me figure this out. Um, New Zealand is turning into my, my Netherlands because I, I know where I am. Obviously, it's not that big. But it's so very similar, it's tough to differentiate the areas. 
Especially because New Zealand has the two islands, right? So, okay, there's water to the north. Well, so? I don't even know where to begin to look to try and find... I don't... I mean, I haven't seen a single street sign. Not one. I haven't seen any sort of... There's Cable Street, so I see that, but I don't see any sort of street signs. No route numbers. No, this is the district you're in. No, here's your city. None of that. Which, I shouldn't be surprised because U.S., you don't get a whole lot of that either. But it is sort of frustrating. Oh my goodness, finally, a road sign. North 1 and 2. There's the 1. Which goes freaking everywhere. Does it go on to the North Island too? Because then I would cry. It does. <laughs> well, there's 1 and 2. So let's say we're down in Wellington. Because that's the best I can do. That was a good guess. Okay. That makes me sad. How do you put the same road on two islands? I mean, obviously. You do that all the time. But Alright. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Uh, water. I mean, tch. Obviously. Kamenawan Street. You speed, people die. Happy message. Rifle Range Road. Twin Peaks? It's coming back, you know. Hmm. Jolly good fellows. The village. Timeshare resort. That looks nice, actually. You're not really that close to a beach, so you'd still have to drive to a beach. I'm not sure how I'd feel about that. To have a timeshare, I'd still have to, like, drive considerable distance to get to any sort of beach-like place. When I'm in a place like this. Caboose Lodge. Okay. It's definitely a kind of touristy area. A lot of places to stay. Now why, if you drive on the left, is the speed limit sign on the right? What's up with that? Why wouldn't that be on the left? Somebody answered me that. Because that makes no sense to me whatsoever. Lakefront Motor Lodge. I mean, nothing. No indication of what the hell this road is. It's sort of like, ah, psh, you know where you are. No, actually, I don't. Like, if I were to drive in this place in real life, I, I don't know how I'd not get lost. I'd have to use my GPS. Because there's nothing that says, oh, this is the road you're on. Enjoy. Thermal Explorer Highway. Loop. I don't, I don't even know. Thermal Explorer Highway. Oh, this is going to save me again. We get lucky. That's the Thermal Explorer Highway, which is the 5 to Napier, Palmerston North, even though it's south, but we're at the connection of 1 and 5. We know 1 goes everywhere, so what we're really looking for is 5. There's the 6. It'd be nice if this used the trunk road system, but it appears it does not. There's the 7. 6 again. 3. Four, five. But we're on the water. It's the one and the two through Auckland. The five and the one don't really cross. Not the way that picture depicts. I 
tends to confuse me. So maybe there's another five that's actually down here. Let's, let's zoom into the one a little bit. We'll, we'll travel along the one and see what we get. Alright, there's six and one. Half dozen the other, really. There's the one. What's that? This is seven. Okay. One comes through Christchurch, comes out this side. I mean, looking at these roads, it feels like they do use the trunk system. These are all eights down here. Nines. Yeah, I mean, they're using the trunk system. So, the one and five are up here by Auckland. I just don't see the water. I don't think the one makes it out of Auckland. Oh, it does. Does the five make it way up here? This, this is the one zone. One and five just, they don't connect where there's a lot of, oh, wait, wait a minute, maybe this is what we're seeing. This could be, we might be in, in all right, so, so I'll go with that. Yeah, that was it. Okay, so that, that wasn't, that was Lake Taupo, maybe. I don't know. That's really cool. Zoom in on New Zealand here so you can see everything going on. New Zealand challenge, uh, obviously not too stellar on some of them, but on the others, you know, we, we did pretty well. I was happy with this. Very interesting challenge. Obviously, you can't get New Zealand only on GeoGuessr. Somebody has to make it for you, so thank you, someone from Geelong, for making this for us. So we can take the excitement of a New Zealand only challenge to heart. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, click the like button. Consider subscribing to the channel to stay updated on everything as it happens. And until next time, cheers.